I'm very excited to be here in Hub City, upstate. I'm going to do a talk about global security. So it's going to start with some of the challenges, the rise of China, what's happening with Russia, the Middle East, drugs moving across borders, all the challenges. But I think more importantly, we're then going to talk about some solutions, how you can create security in the face of these kind of challenges. And it'll run the range from working more with our allies, learning more history and culture, having a good strong military is part of it, but also humanitarian operations and a number of other things. So it'll be quite a comprehensive talk, I hope. I'll tell you three things that I think are critical for anybody who will be matriculating from an American university. One is cyber and cybersecurity, understanding how you fit into this massive realm of the cyber world, which is expanding exponentially. And that ranges from protecting yourself and your data, your privacy in the cyber world, to your work environment, to your personal life, and how you will interact over time in that cyber world. Secondly, I would hope any graduating student would think about service. Um, often, because I spent almost four decades in the US Navy, people will say to me, thank you for your service. I appreciate that. But there are so many ways to serve this country, and I hope every student will think about devoting some portion of their life to the act of service to others and to the nation. And then third, and finally I would say for anybody graduating, recognize that life is a voyage. You'll hit some rough seas along the way. There'll be some failures. There'll be some successes. Be resilient as you sail along. In terms of my own life, the people who have had the most impact on me are really two. One is my father, a career officer in the U.S. Marine Corps. Uh, he raised me in the right way. He was a caring, consistent parent, and he also showed me how to be a good officer in the military. And the second person is a former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Mike Mullen. He was a mentor to me throughout my time in the Navy. And often, at various stages in my career, Admiral Mullen would gently lean in and say, you know, Stavridis, you really ought to think about this a little differently. He was someone who could correct me when I started to drift in a wrong direction. I think the decision that had the greatest impact on my life was deciding to marry my beautiful wife, Laura. We've been married for over 30 years. We have two wonderful daughters. Uh, both of them are married to doctors in the greatest stroke of financial planning of my life. And um, certainly it, it shows us that your personal life is central to everything you do. And those are the really big decisions. The most important professional decision of my life was to go back to university in my late 20s and get a graduate degree. What defines America, in my view, in the end, is a spirit of optimism, a belief in hope. We have too often in our history taken counsel of our fears, but our greatest moments as Americans is when we hope and we believe and we improve. And that has been a theme in American history again and again. So for me, America really is a land of hope. For all the turbulence of the moment, this is a, a land of hope.